trying to literally get me to come see him. Literally talk about he want to put a baby in this. He want me to be the incubator, ho. Like, I don't understand that. I'm like, listen, I don't know what to tell you. I was like, girl, go at your nigga. Like, literally the whole time, oh, who the fuck are you? What, did I, what the fuck? Why the fuck he saying this to you? Go at your nigga. Why the fuck you talking? Go at your nigga. Why the hell? Go at your nigga. Bitch, why? Go at your nigga. I love playing with these silly hoes, okay? We're not about to do this, bitch, okay? Tricks are for kids. Hello everyone, how you doing today? What's poppin'? Ho, ho, ho. Merry high semaz. Welcome to another episode of 12 Days of Storytime. I have my muffin here because I'm hungry. If you see fudge in my tea, it's because of this muffin, you feel me? So today, we're gonna be talking about the time my boyfriend had a wife, okay? So we're not talking about my current boyfriend because my man would never. All right, so let's get that off the way. All right, I love my man, three years strong. Okay, we are so cute, aren't we? I love my baby. I don't know there's gonna be people. Oh my God, three years? Why are you still not married? Where's the baby? Mind your fucking business. Niggas don't feel like being married yet. Niggas wanna enjoy their time. Mind your fucking business, again. Now this story, I feel like I told this story before briefly on one of my channels, probably my Haitian channel, but we gonna tell it again. With a little bit of an update, because I saw this nigga again recently, and this man happens to be part of a Haitian band, a local Haitian band. Take your choice, take your guess, because I'm actually not about to block it in the comment section because I don't care. I I don't give a shit Okay, um, if niggas figure out who this person is, I really don't give a fuck because I'm not protecting a damn soul. All right, um, so yeah. And um, it's gonna be two stories in one, two short stories in one, okay? So grab your tea, grab your snacks, grab everything you need because I, I'm eating a muffin, okay? Um, I, I really haven't ate really today. All I had was two boiled eggs and a protein shake and now I'm having a muffin, okay? Today was gym day, I taught my Zumba class and now I'm here working. It's a hard not life for us. It's a hard not life for us. I don't know the rest of the words. Anyways, let's get into the story. Back in the day, damn, I don't even remember when. Why I never remember how old, how old I was, but I know this was definitely after college. I met this dude at an event, right? So I was at a charity event for church, right? And I met this dude, and he happened to be a, ooh, let me not say that. Niggas really, I, do I really care if people figure out who this is, though? No, I don't, but let me not do that. All right, there was this dude at this charity event. He starts playing game, we dance together. I I ain't gonna lie, he captured my attention. And it's pretty hard to get my attention, you know? Now that I look at this dude in the far future, I think I was just desperate. I think I was at that time where like, you know how we, we all have that moment, lady, you know, where we're just like, oh my God, I just don't wanna be single anymore. Oh my God, I just wanna go on dates. Oh my God, I just want some regular D. Yeah, I think that's what it was. Because now I look at him and I'm like, fuck was I, yeah, no. And child, this whole situation. So boom. So, you know, we start talking, we exchange numbers, and eventually he asks me to be his girlfriend. I say yes. Like y'all, I'm telling you, love is in the air. Everything progressed extremely fast. Like I'm talking about within two to three weeks, I was this man's girlfriend. And y'all know anything about Haitian men you could be married within a month you could be married within a day you could be married within three hours that's how Haitian men work everything moves extremely fast the men are crazy okay so it wasn't weird that we were boyfriend girlfriend within three weeks okay it was it was extremely quick so whatever we started dating or whatever the case may be and um everything was great I even introduced him to one of my co-workers okay shout out to you Shell Sheldine was popping you might remember this okay literally me and Sheldine hopped off the bus one day and he came to pick me up at the bus stop because we were going on a date and literally I had Sheldine meet him and um that's literally one of the first times I've ever done that I've never had any of my friends meet any dude that I've ever dated so I thought it was a serious relationship I thought this was in the bed I thought this was lit. I <laughs> little did I know it starts getting to a point where shit start getting a little suspicious you know I started hanging out with this man my man so I thought every 
I would say week or so, maybe every two, like maybe two or three times a week, I would see him. And slowly but surely, it became once a week, maybe every other week. And I was like, damn, when am I gonna see you? When are you gonna pick me up? Like, when are we gonna hang out? Oh, I'm busy, Shelly. Oh, I have things to do, do, do. Oh, I have places to go. I have practice because he was in a band. So I was like, oh, okay, I understand. If a man loves you, he's gonna find a fucking way. It doesn't matter if he's part of T-Vice, Zinglin, New Look, B5, NSYNC, it don't fucking matter. <laughs> he gonna find a way to see y'all at, all right? And then eventually he asked me for $100 because he <laughs> fucking stupid this was probably one of my very few but very ridiculous dumb bitch moments he asked me for a hundred dollars because he couldn't come see me because he had a suspended license and he needed a hundred dollars to get it unsuspended i gave him the hundred dollars i don't remember how i did though there wasn't a cash app at the time there wasn't zelle at the time i feel like he maybe illegally drove the car to come get this hundred dollars I'm such a dumb bitch. Cause I'm like, wait, did he drive to me to get this hundred dollars? First and last time I ever gave a man any fucking money. I've never ever gave a man a dollar before or after that. Nigga, excuse me. Like, yo, I was so young at the time too. I had to be like 20. Like, I was so mad. I, I was so mad at myself after that. Cause I was like, wait, he said he's gonna pay me back. Of course, I never had that money back because of what transpired. So fast forward, you know, he talks me into, you know, fucking just my man. I do what I gotta do. I do a damn thing. Takes me to a motel. Let me just say, don't ever let a man, unless it's like on some y'all been long term, y'all just wanna do some fun shit, some cute shit, maybe. But like, even my current man would absolutely never take me to a motel. Like, you know, don't let no nigga take you to the motel, bro. Unless y'all like on some high school, y'all broke as fuck shit. But like, if your man is literally working a legitimate job, like a legitimate nine to five, like, and he got it, why is he taking you to a motel? That's some sneaky link, porno side you not that important shit bro i ain't ashamed though because it's funny and it's a really good lesson and i'm i'm gonna definitely prop it off my fucking shit girl so takes me there everything's cool you know we chilling in there somebody blowing up his phone he don't pick it up i don't know it could be your mama it could be your daddy it could be your grandpappy it could be your grandmama never ever did i think it'd be his bitch it could be haiti for all i know okay now this man is part of a haitian band too okay so i'm thinking okay maybe it's band practice because it was like a friday and a lot of haitian bands usually be practicing on like a friday um i believe that following weekend he did have like a ball he was performing at a ball is like a live haitian performance with haitian band so i'm thinking okay maybe that's what it is so whatever we, we hang out for that night we're chilling and he drops me home maybe a couple days later two three o'clock in the morning i'm getting blowed up ring 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 i'm confused i'm like all right i'll pick it up actually i ignore it lies i ignored the call happens again ring 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 and i'm like what the like yo my phone was it was back to back to back like it was really bad and i'm like what the fuck is going on i'm like yo i'm thinking like and i don't recognize the number it's like a private number and then like first it was a number that i didn't have saved then it was like a private number that it, it was just weird so i'm like okay by the third or fourth time i picked up Booze, my you bitch you hoe you sleeping with my man you ain't shit did you know he was married you bitch you home wrecker that man did not act married he didn't look married he didn't present married he didn't say he was married quite frankly <laughs> i'm perplexed i'm like oh shit i'm like nigga what i said first of all who the fuck are you talking to second of all i don't know what the fuck you're talking about third of all why do you think it's okay to call somebody at three o'clock in the morning bitch don't even fucking talk don't I'm just listening to the girl because at this point, what you want me to say? I'm sorry. I didn't know because I would never willingly sleep with a married man. Okay, so I don't, I don't know. <laughs> this man, what I'm telling y'all, I ain't know nothing about that. I didn't know nothing about that. This man approached me like a single man at the fundraiser. He dated me like a single man. At this point, we was together for like four months. So like, how am I supposed to know? How am I supposed to know? And I'm mad young. I, I didn't know how to pick out the red flags. So I'm like, I don't know. I'm like, okay. I just want, listen, one thing about me, I ain't going back for. You yelling at me, either I'm hanging up or I'm laughing in your face. So I said, Cut up. Cut up. Cut up. Three times for that. I get one 
get on the side. Don't nobody got time. Don't nobody got time. Don't nobody got time for that. Oh, seriously, like, yo, you're not about to sit there and curse me out on my own line at like 2, 3 o'clock in the morning. Like, girl, bye. She starts texting me. Fuck you, bitch. Don't hit up my man. That's my fucking husband. Fuck you. You're a home wrecker. You're a hoe. You're never gonna be shit. You ugly bitch. Have you seen me? Ugly. That could never be me. <laughs> Pay Paris voice. You bitches could never be me. I am not ugly. You can call me a lot of things, but ugly ain't one of them. So I, I blocked her. I was like, I don't got time for this. And I hit him up. I said, yo, your your wife called me. Um, and I don't got time. Like, I basically cursed him to f I I don't even think I cursed him out. Basically, was like, yeah, your wife called me and I don't have time for this bullshit. That's absolutely disrespectful that you have a wife. And like, I, I basically just told him off. What? What? Why? What are you talking about? I don't have a wife. He did what all Haitian men do, okay? He hit me with the Alan Kave. He hit me with the Zen. Please, baby. Uh uh. Uh uh. Pack it. Nigga, shut the fuck up. Okay, he's sitting here trying to convince me he doesn't have a wife. He doesn't know who the girl is. He doesn't know what I'm talking about. There can't be possibly anybody who called my phone alleging anything like that. He can't believe this. He can't believe I'm accusing him of anything like this. I said, and run me my $100. Oh, I would never not give you your $100 back. This is absolutely absurd. I can't believe this. I'm like, nigga, I could believe it. So run me my $100 and don't talk to me ever the fuck again. I will talk to you when you're ready to give me my $100. Okay, because I, I know you're you're falling on hard times, allegedly, according to your last text messages. Because that's what he said when he um, asked for the $100, by the way. Then he's like, oh, I need you to meet up with me, please. Come see me. I really need to see you. I really want to see you so that we can talk about this. Comment down below. Where do you think he wants to meet me to talk about all of this? Comment down below. This nigga done tried me. Try me. You done typing? McDonald's. I kind of realized this nigga didn't respect me when he took me to the motel. But when he said, let's meet at McDonald's in Newark, hey, <laughs> hey. In my mother's voice. I should have really realized he had respect me. He wanted to be at McDonald's in Nook. If y'all never been to McDonald's in Nook on Broad Street before it closed down, you would know that that was a cesspool for ghettoness, fights, and shootings. This nigga ain't respect me. This nigga wanted me to McDonald's. This nigga pulled up, looking all types of crazy, hoodie on. I don't know, the, the, the girl, the wife, the bitch probably beat his ass before showing up. He was looking all types of crazy. He had a hoodie on. <laughs> y'all, it was just like, yo, now that I actually look back at this shit, I'm just like, yo, what was I thinking, bro? I should have never even showed up. I should have just been like, nigga, I'll talk to you when you have my hundred dollars, bro. I thought you wanna have my hundred dollars. I talk money. Baby, I don't know what's going on. I don't know who the girl is. I don't know who she is. Sir, you know damn well who she is. She's your wife. And um, I don't want nothing to do with you anymore. I have no idea why you have me here. Anything can happen at any given moment and I'm not here for it. So I'd like to leave. Um, if you would like to discuss this more, you can text me, but I'm not willing to see you ever again. Like literally I ended that shit there, right then and there, I don't have time. Moral of the story. If a nigga taking you to a motel, he don't respect you. If a nigga never took you to his house or took you to a proper date, like at least a proper restaurant, not Applebee's. Listen, I love Applebee's, so I have no problem with a man taking me to Applebee's. Like that's actually one of my favorite places. I don't care, leave me alone, don't judge me. Okay, but if you never took you to a proper restaurant, a proper movie, a proper at least walk in the park, okay, a proper coffee date, like something proper. Don't take that man serious. Don't like, seriously, don't take him serious. Like I didn't even peep that shit. I never even went on a proper date with him, never. If a woman is telling you that she the wife, she the wife, she the wife. And funny enough, I never saw him ever again until recently. I saw him again, I saw him a couple months ago. And then a couple of like years ago, I actually asked him, I said, so you don't remember me? He said, yeah, I remember you. I said, so how's your wife doing? What wife? So he still gonna act like you don't got a wife? He still gonna act like you don't got a... These niggas ain't shit, bro. These niggas ain't shit. Un-fucking-believable, bro. And he definitely has a wife. Because <laughs> I fact-checked.
that shit. Moving on to nigga number two. So we have, let me, I was gonna fuck around and use his real name because I was like, you know what, I really don't care. But I actually still talk to this nigga in terms of friendship and he cool people. So we're gonna call him, so we're gonna call this boy Christian. So me and Christian go way back. He was one of my first little puppy loves when I was like, what, seven? Like when I used to go to PA or whatever. Oh my God, I love me some Christian. I ain't gonna lie. We have not talked for a very, very long time up until like what, adulthood or whatever. No, maybe high school, no. Yeah, maybe like high school a little bit like barely and then adulthood so i had a little radio show in college and i would play underrated artists for 15 minutes i used to call the segment 15 minutes of fame so i had christian on instagram and christian would rap since he was a kid he was a little rapper okay he thought he was little bow wow little romeo whatever you want to call it okay for me and i love his music to this day love his music his music is actually really good and i really do wholeheartedly feel like he could make it i feel like if he tapped into his Haitian market and actually did like the whole Haitian American rap thing. He would go further, but what do I know? Niggas never listen to me. But the music that he's put out in that genre has actually gone further than his other music. So clearly I know what the fuck I'm talking about. But anyways, I like his music a lot, right? So he's um, an artist that I would feature a lot during my 15 minutes of fame segment. So, you know, we would talk all the time. He would send me his music, you know, he'd be like, yo, like, yo, you'd be a lit manager. I was like, nah, I'm on. I don't know. I don't know. So something that a lot of people don't know about me um, is that I used to really like be really into like underrated rappers um, and artists. I had it actually a blog way back called Unveiled Hype where I would feature unsigned artists and underrated artists and things like that. Like it was actually a really, really big passion project of mine. When I first started my main channel, I really wanted to do fashion and underrated and unsigned artists music reviews and things like that. So like it was one of my main passion projects. And then I realized that underrated artists and unsigned artists were like ridiculously ungrateful and they were pieces of shit so i yeah the passion for that died pretty fast right <laughs> so essentially me and christian were really really cool back then there was an attraction but like over time like i really stopped caring about him but christian would always throw these sexual advances at me okay like all the time like we would just be talking about music like yo when you want to drop your next piece yo i really think you should start dropping these haitian american pieces like people really like that shit oh uh, i don't know i'm trying to find out where you trying to you know pull up to new york though so christian lived in new york okay Okay, so keep that in mind. But he lived like where I was born at. Like, so I was born in Long Island, by the way, if you guys did not know. Um, but I was born in like Westbury, Islip area. Like, I, I'm far out Long Island. So I'd be like, yo, so when you want to release your next project, I really think you should do the Haitian American thing. What I need to know is when you gonna pull up to New York, though. That has absolutely nothing to do with the conversation. I'm just saying, like, and he would, and he wouldn't leave it there, y'all. He wouldn't leave it there. He would say all types. Of shit. When you gonna have my baby? When you gonna let me put it in? When you gonna all types of nasty shit? And I'm like, um. So you're trying to be on 15 minutes of fame for this week? Like the fuck? Like I didn't have time for that. All right, I, I really didn't. You know. So not only was I on my college radio station, I was also on a separate radio station in Newark at the time. Like Newark had this online radio station that was like really, really big. I don't remember what the fuck they were called, but like it was. It was Pretty big deal. I brought my 15 minutes of fame onto there. So I was like, oh, listen, I'm trying to give you a push over here, right? Like, ignore the fudge on my hand, y'all. It's like all over. Anyways, so I he was one of my main artists that I would push during that segment. And I was like, listen, I'm trying to give you a real push here. But he would still like do his nasty little flirting all the damn time. And I'm like, listen, we're trying to keep things um platonic here. Like, I'm, I'm never gonna go over there. Like, first of all, the drive to you is like three hours and I don't have a car. You're, you're, you're gonna pick me up or what? Oh, uh, you could Uber. So that's the thing. These niggas be doing the most like you have a car i don't have a car you're you're sitting here talking freaky sneaky link shit and you're not even gonna pick me up like fuck out of here you're not even gonna send me an uber fuck out of here like why well, i gotta find my way to fuck out of here okay a lesson for you ladies if a man is sitting here and he talk about some oh where well, you gonna come link me no he gonna pick you up or he gonna send you the ride to him fuck out up here like no you never ever drive yourself to that man okay so essentially it got to a point where like them shits was just regular and i would just ignore them to be honest oh when you gonna let me put a baby in you when you want this when you want that and i was just like whatever i don't have time for this like i i literally just ignore the fuck out of them granted maybe i should have like been like nigga leave me the fuck alone but to be honest i'm so used to niggas flirt with me at this point like and maybe that sounds cocky maybe that sounds weird to y'all but like i'm really used to it like now that i've gotten in a relationship niggas don't really try me at all but like when i was single 
oh my goodness. Like, it was insane. Like, I was very used to it. Like, now that I'm in a relationship, oh hell no. I wish a nigga would. I'll drag the fuck out of you. I'll expose the fuck out of you. I got time. But, like, when I was single, it was really, really bad. So, I remember I was on a date. I think I was on a date with my current nigga, actually. I was on a date with somebody, and I was at the movies. And, um, I remember Christian again sent one of his, when well, you gonna let me put a baby in you type shit. And I was like, oh, left that shit on red. About an hour later, while I'm at the movies, I get a message. Who the fuck is this? From Snapchat, literally. As soon as Christian sent that message, I left it on red, and then literally from his account, I got a who the fuck is this? I'm like, why would he be telling me who the fuck is this from his account? So I'm like, must be his bitch. I automatically knew, I was like, okay. I was way more hit by this time. Okay, I was prepared for the mess. Okay, I was prepared for the mess. And I, listen, one thing about me, I'm messy and I love a food fight. So I said, ask your nigga. She ain't like that response. Bitch, who the fuck is you? Why the fuck you texting my nigga? I'm sorry, last I checked, he texted me. <laughs> last I checked, he said he wanna put a baby in me. Last I checked, he saying nasty shit to me and I ain't paying him no mind. Last I checked, you probably need to get a whole new nigga. <laughs> What the hell you mad at me for, oh? Like, oh my God. So I literally just start sending her laughing emojis. Cause like, I'm not about to do this. Like, you're not about to woman to woman me when I don't even want your nigga. Your nigga out here trying to literally get me to come see him. Literally talk about he want to put a baby in this. He want me to be the incubator hoe. Like, I don't understand. I'm like, listen, I don't know what to tell you. I was like, girl, go at your nigga. Like, literally the whole time, oh, who the fuck are you? What, I, what the fuck? Why the fuck he saying this to you? Go at your nigga. Why the fuck you talking? Go at your nigga. Why the hell? Go at your nigga. Bitch, why? Whoa, at your nigga. I love playing with these silly hoes, okay? We're not about to do this, bitch, okay? Tricks are for kids, and I'm a grown-ass woman, all right? So at this point, <laughs> oh man, silly rabbit. Tricks are for kids, okay? I'm not about to do this shit with you. Um, At this point, I hit up Christian, like, listen, your bitch is hitting me up on your Snapchat. I don't know what the fuck is going on, but literally, I was trying to, like, give you an opportunity on my radio show, and now now you're fucking it up by having your bitch hit me up calling me all types of bitches and hoes because you're trying to cheat on her with me and I'm not trying to give you the time of day so handle that shit I will sell and buy you bitch in the words of my mother but yeah I will buy and sell both you hoes fuck is you talking about like the hell is this like I don't got time for this like eh, mm, come collect in the words of Renee, come collect. <laughs> Y'all watch Renee? Oh, go, go subscribe to her on YouTube. She's amazing. Like, I don't have time for this shit. Like, how the fuck is y'all sitting here coming at me? <laughs> Like, y'all bitches is delusional. If you need to break up with your nigga, break up with your nigga. But don't be sitting here coming after other women when your nigga is coming after those women. Like, girl, bye. So then, he's like, oh, I'm so sorry. Like, yo, that's crazy. Like, I didn't mean for that to happen. Like, okay, I'm a chill. Should have been chilled because I wasn't even answering your messages. I literally stopped answering your messages like a minute ago. Like, I kept shit strictly business. I was trying to give you an opportunity and like, you're doing the most. And I remember I was mainly ignoring him because at the time, I think that was when I was trying to be serious with my nigga for real. So it was just like, yeah, nigga, like I don't have time. Maybe to be honest with you, I should have shut that shit down. So that is legitimately the lesson for this one. If you're really not interested in a nigga, shut that shit down. Um, be like, listen, I'm not interested. I not, I, I don't want you in that way. I don't like this shit. Just, just say it because it's gonna cause issues. Um, <laughs> because I know for a fact that girl still really don't like me. I mean, who gives a fuck? She can come fight me if that's the problem. It is what it is, you know? Like, it, say say that you're not interested because it could really cause an issue, but it don't need to be an issue. I'm sitting here getting woman to woman texts that aren't even warranted. Okay, I didn't even know the first dude was married and then with this dude, I didn't even want him, but he's sitting here talking about he gonna put babies in me and I don't even want to be his girlfriend, okay? So always let your intentions be known, okay? And if someone's definitely throwing advances at you, let it be known that you don't want those advances if you do not want those advances with that being said let me know what you thought about both of these stories down below have you went through anything similar i'm very sure maybe some of you have i feel like these stories are probably a little bit different i don't know i don't know <laughs> with that being said make sure you guys like share subscribe do all that and i'm gonna see y'all next time bye